Jim Colt from Hypertherm here. Uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about um, different cut quality, uh, uh, things to look for with cut quality, uh, and, and just a couple of common things. So we could talk about uh, cut quality and fixes for cut quality all day. There's, there are a lot of different parameters with plasma cutting. Uh, when you get the right machine, the, the right plasma cutter and the right CNC cutting table, um, generally, you're going to have files in the background that have all of the parameters set. So basically, you, you, the operator has to tell it that you're cutting half-inch steel or quarter-inch steel, and the machine will help you choose the right parameters to get everything right. You don't cut half-inch steel the same way you cut quarter-inch steel. Different feed rates, different, uh, uh, you know, different amperage, a lot of different, th different factors apply. So I'm just going to look at one example here. Uh, here's a couple of cuts. They, they are different materials, but to use them as an example, I can. This sample uh, on this side was cut. You can see there's some pretty heavy dross on the back of this. Uh, some people with plasma cutters have been cutting drossy parts like that for 10 years, and they think that's what the way plasma cuts. If you look at this other sample, this also is a, a, an untouched cut, but it was cut correctly at the correct speed, at the correct amperage, and so forth. And while there are a couple, a couple little beads of dross, and dross, I might say, is the re-solidified metal on the back of the cut. This one doesn't have much. This one has a lot. Um, dross is something that uh, we all want to avoid because I would have to spend uh, a couple of minutes chipping that dross off, maybe hitting it with a grinder uh, to clean it up. So what's the, the difference between these two cuts? Assuming they were the same thickness and the same part, uh, typically when you see dross like that, it simply means that you're cutting too slow or with too much power level or perhaps the height control was set at too high of a cut height. Um, uh, this one, just from my experience, I would say just speeding up the, the cut speed on this one will probably get rid of the dross. That's what, what we normally run into. Um, so uh, there, there are a few little tips like that. Um, there's a, some good sources to get help with that. Uh, go to the machine manufacturer's uh, service group and say, hey, I'm getting ugly cuts, uh, what do I do? Or go to Hypertherm, the manufacturer of the plasma, uh, and the tech service department there can also help you fine tune the cut quality. Maybe before you do that, open up the manual because there are a, a number of pages in the operator's manual that do give you, they'll give you some pictures of some typical cut quality issues uh, in the easy fix. Uh, sometimes just the opposite of what you think it's going to be uh, will solve the problem for you. Uh, so that's, just, that's a quick one. Uh, once again, any questions you have, we're more than happy to, to work with you and help you out, uh, help you solve them. Thank you.